Tina Cooks is made possible through the generous support of E.T. Cody and Sons Auto Parts, Lemonster, Papa John's Pizza, Lemonster and Fitchburg, KC's Body Connection Massage Center, connecting body, mind, and spirit. Boucher Construction, Central Mass Sand and Gravel. Hi, welcome to Tina Cooks. Tonight I'm gonna do two quick chicken dishes because I've gotten some requests for some faster food. This is my version of fast food. One dish is gonna be chicken tomaso, which I named after my brother because he loves chicken and sausage. And the other one is gonna be chicken with tarragon and it's gonna have a white wine in it. One dish is gonna have wine, one dish is not gonna have wine. So we're gonna start out with some chicken um, breasts. They're just plain chicken breasts. I haven't done anything with them yet. Okay, and this is our little prep part of the show. I'm gonna just slice a couple of these for the ch chicken tarragon. I'm gonna take out these though, because I like the tenders for. I'll actually save these and make cutlets out of them, because a lot of times, or a fast saute. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna cut out this right here. We don't want this, because this is all grizzled anyway. Go. That'll be that'll be chewy. You don't want that in your dish. There we go. Now this is a nice. I'm just going to fillet this one because this one's going to be good for the tarragon. You don't want it real thin. Keep your palms up. Curl your hands like this so that you don't cut into them, which I have done before. Could be very dangerous. Okay. I'm going to take another thin cut here. And I'm just going to cut this one in half because I'm going to save the other half of the Tommaso. Okay, so we'll have four tarragons. Now the chicken Tommaso, I'm going to cut into cubes because I'm going to mix it with the sausage. And I want them both the same size, pretty much. If you're going to have chunks of sausage, then you want chunks of chicken. I like to keep everything one size, one shape. Just clean off these edges of fat, and I don't want those in there. Okay, so now we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here like this on the breast, and we're gonna cut them into cubes. Okay. Now this prep is simple, and a lot of times I'll go to a store and get a big, big package of chicken breast, and you can actually, when you get the chicken breast before you freeze it, do this preparation and freeze it, you know, ready to go which I do a lot of times. When we did the rolled stuffed chickens and stuff like that, I'll do that ahead of time. Because you might have, you know, seven, eight breaths in one package. Now the sausage is simple. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take the sausage, and I'm just gonna break off little pieces right out of the um, casing, okay? They don't have to be any specific size or shape. Okay, because you're going to want to cook these first. All right. I'm going to use two, two links of sausage. There we go. That one's a little big, but that's okay. Any shape or any size. My brother always roasted his chicken with sausage, but he'd roast the whole chicken. This is a little invention I had done when I was working at uh, Bobby Chick's because every, every weekend we'd have different specialties. And this is one that I tried and, and people really loved it. I'm not gonna do the chicken Tommaso with any wine tonight or in this dish. A lot of times you can use uh, masala wine. 
with the chicken and sausage. It's really, really good. But I'm going to use a wine in this chicken, so I'm going to leave wine out of this one. I'm just going to wash my hands real quick. Okay, that's basically the prep for the meat. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to take this and put this on my plastic. Now, because this is chicken, I'm going to rotate the board. I've got a little rag under there because I don't want to put my onions and stuff on the chicken. So now what we're going to do is we're going to slice onions for the tomaso, and we're going to dice, small dice, the um, onions for the um, chicken tarragon. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get little rings for the tomaso, because I like the onions in rings like this. I like to, to eat them just like that. I'm going to put this over here. And then this other onion, we're going to just chop fine for the other dish. I'm only going to use half the onion. I'm not going to use that other piece. We're going to set the other piece aside. Okay. There we go. Now the next thing I'm going to add to this is, I'm going to get this off completely. We're going to do a couple of garlics. I'm just going to mince the garlic, you know, I slice it across this way, and then we're just going to chop it into mince. I don't add salt and, and mash it, and I like to just add salt to my food. I don't add a lot of salt to my food. A lot of times you'll, you'll notice I, I taste and add a little bit at the time, but I'm not a heavy, heavy salt user, and I never add salt to my food after it's cooked. Boy, that onion is strong. Woo! Thank God you're not over here, Kyle. You wouldn't be able to see me through the monitor. All righty, and that's the prep we're going to do for now. We're going to go over to the... I dropped my onion peel. We're going to go over to the stove. Of course, i got to start crying first. We're going to go over to the stove, and we're going to start our cooking. Come on, let's go. All righty, we're going to start with the chicken tomaso because the sausage does take a little bit longer. Okay, I'm going to start out with a little bit of olive oil, alrighty, and I'm going to get my onion strings, so to speak, I'm going to put those in there, and let those get started. Okay, and I'm going to take the sausage and I'm going to put that in here because this is going to take a good I want to say at least five, ten minutes anyway. Five minutes anyways. If you want, you can flatten them out just a little bit. I don't think it's going to help them cook any faster. It's sausage. I don't like sausage pink at all. I like it cooked all the way through. So this is going to take a couple of minutes. All righty. There we go. I'm going to add a little salt. Like so. So I'm going to stow it again. i to wipe my hands off on my... Marpina. <laughs> Sometimes when I meet some of the ladies in Demoulas, they'll say, I love the way you have that Marpina hanging out of your back pocket. Never cook without it. Add a little bit of pepper. Okay. I buy um, a mild sausage. I don't buy a hot sausage, but I do add a lot of pe black pepper. And then add a little tiny bit of garlic just to give it a little bit of flavor. And speaking of garlic, I almost forgot. We're going to grab some of our minced garlic and throw that in there. Okay? We're going to get this going. Okay. I'm not going to add any parsley or anything at this point. I'm going to let the sausage cook a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it down just a little bit. And I'm going to cover it because I want the sausage to cook. So we'll take it down to medium. Heat. Now in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my oven on bake and I'm going to select 375 because what I did ahead was a few days ago I made some potatoes and artichokes. We did that in another show 
I'm just going to put them on a cookie sheet. I'm going to put them in the oven to accompany the chicken dishes. Okay. I'm going to let this go. I'm just going to turn the sausage a little bit. One time when I was little, I want to say maybe eight or so, I love chicken. It's probably one of my favorite things to cook. My grandmother had, she used to get her chickens from a farmer. I was coming home from school one day and she said, called me in the house, Christina, come here, come here. I said, okay. She said, go home, change up. I got a work for you to do. I said, okay. So you go home to get out of the St. Ian's uniform. You run over Nana's to see what she's doing. She go get the sack in the front hall. So I go in the front hall and there's a potato sack and it's moving. And I said to myself, oh my goodness, what's in this potato sack? I drag it out back, it was a little heavy, drag it out back, and there's Nana waiting for, with an ax by the cherry stump. I said, oh my God, what is she gonna do? Bring, bring me the sack, bring me the sack. So I bring her the sack, she puts down her bastoni, her cane, and she reaches into the bag, she grabs out a chicken. She grabs him by the neck and in 30 seconds, right in between the, her legs, breaks the neck, slaps it on the cherry stump, chops off the head, and there goes dancing the chicken. I'll tell you, I never ran home screaming so fast in my life. I've never seen anything like that. But we don't get chicken that way anymore. Thank God they have it in the market. <laughs> my Nana was a piece of work. She was a real Italian. And you never knew what she was going to have in her food, whether it would be rabbit or chicken or whatever she decided to do. Okay, we're going to let this go just a few minutes more because they're, they're still pink. I don't want to see pink on the outside especially. I mean, it'll take chick the chicken time to cook too, but the sausage I want to really be cooked. Okay. We're going to let this go a few minutes and I'll be right back. All right, now this is how, see how your onions are getting nice and brown? I like them a little browner on this, like not crispy, but nice and golden brown. Oh, you know what I gotta do is I gotta grab some flour. Forgot about this pot, Kyle. Don't get mad at me, okay? But I, I need the flour. The flour is what's gonna make it a little bit thick. Now I don't want, I'm gonna move this. We have to put our potatoes in the oven, but not right now. I'm gonna just take a little bit of the flour and just you want to coat it and then you want to hit off that extra flour because you don't want a ton in there you just want enough okay I'm going to add it to there there and a little bit more there we go now I want to make sure that the chicken all touches the bottom. Okay, I'm going to add just a little tiny bit more oil because I want my chicken to kind of like fry up too, you know, and I want to make sure it's seasoned. So we're going to add a little more salt to the chicken and we're going to add a little more pepper. Okay. Now I'm going to add some parsley to the chicken. Okay. You could use fresh parsley. Fresh parsley is really good. Um, I use dry. I like dry. It's easier to keep. Okay. Now I'm just going to let this go a little more. I'm going to cover it up just a tish. Got my cover right here. I'm not going to cover it all the way. Just a little bit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this sheet pan because these potatoes are probably going to take as long to warm up as the rest of the meal. It's just artichokes and potatoes. They're just sauteed. I clean the artichokes. Just gonna spread them out a little more, a little more and, and as they warm up, they'll get a little more crispy. And there we go. I'm gonna get this oil in the bottom because that's the good part, the olive oil in the bottom. There you go. All right, I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna put the potatoes in here and they're gonna go to town. I do that sometimes when I, I, I work two jobs besides doing the cooking show. A lot of times I'll take a day like Sunday 
or Saturday, and I will do food prep like potatoes or you know sauces. I'll even I do soups, different things that are going to help me during the week. I'll do vegetables like I'll roast uh, acorn squash or make broccoli and cauliflower, or, you know, green bean salad, anything that's going to help me make the meals faster on the weekend on the weekdays because it's hectic when it, when you work and you've got kids and you know you need some secrets and that's one of mine there we go I'm just gonna flip these with a spatula because they just seem to be easier to to flip <laughs> see I want that chicken to get nice and brown the onions are definitely caramelizing and that's the way I like them nice and they're almost going to be crispy, but not really crispy. But it gives it a nice sweet flavor. Complements the sausage. See, this still isn't really ready to go, but we're getting there. Okay. Now, this chicken tarragon doesn't take any time at all, so we're going to wait a few more minutes. The sausage is what takes the long time on this. All right. So we're going to give this chicken uh, just a couple more minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put this over here because that's a big cover. Now we have, oh look at how good this looks. See how nice and, go, it's all nice and browned and oh my goodness that looks wonderful. I like it myself. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of chicken base. Now this is the base that I buy in the containers. They have it at BJ's, they have it at Demoulas, they have it at all the grocery stores. I like the paste better than I like the powder. So there's, all, there's a few different name brands you can get. Now this is not going to be, I don't want a lot in here. I just want enough to make a tiny, tiny bit of a sauce. Okay? And we're going to bring this up over here. Now while this is going to simmer off, see, I'm going to do a little bit of a tricky switch here. I'm going to take this frying pan off, I'm going to slide this over here because this literally has to simmer for a few minutes and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to put it on a low simmer. I don't want it blazing over here. These burners, these gas burners are really, really hot. They get hot. And I'm going to kind of semi-cover this. I don't want, I want the, the moisture to come out of it. Then we're going to take this frying pan. We're going to put this frying pan here. Okay. We're going to let this warm up a minute. What we're going to do is, we're going to take the chicken and we're going to flour the chicken. This is so you can get a nice sauce with it. These are basic, simple, I mean, I'm doing two at the same time, so you should be able to do one in about 15, 20 minutes. These are all very easy meals. I, I, I think they're quick and easy, and if you don't want to use the butter, or you don't want to use the wine, or you, if you'd like to throw vegetables in it, I mean, even with the chicken tomaso, you can put green beans, or you could put uh, uh, broccoli, anything you want inside. I, like, I tend to keep them separate when I'm doing a dish like this. Okay, so we're going to do this. I'm going to add a little oil. And to this dish, to switch it up, I'm going to put in a little bit of butter. Okay, like so. And we're going to take our onions and garlic. And we're going to soften it up in here. Now, one thing about cooking, I'm going to tell you that I've learned. When you have a non-stick skillet and you're frying in a non-stick skillet, it does not brown or go as quickly as a stainless steel pan. These stainless steel pans, when they get hot, they stay hot and they cook fast. So you got to make sure that you watch your temperature when you're working with a stainless steel, other, you know, rather than a non-stick. For some reason, I think the coating makes it, you know, a little more heat resistant. Now I really want these to soften, so I'm going to let them go on a low heat. Okay. Okay, these onions are getting soft, but I want them just a little bit softer. And I do have them on a lower heat, because I don't want them to get away from me. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is, I've got some nice fresh tarragon I bought. I 
You can use the dry tarragon and it comes out really good because in the restaurants that's what I did. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to just, it kind of looks like grass. <laughs> and I don't want these, these st stalks, all the stalks in it. I think they get, they're tough. So we're going to pull off the, the bottoms of them. And, oh, they, it already smells. I mean, when you're, pulling, when you're pulling the herbs off the stalks, you can smell them. Oh, they're so, they smell so good when they're fresh, you know? And we're just gonna chop them like so. And I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. Okay. And we're gonna chop it like that. Now, when you put the tarragon in the white wine, it's wonderful. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna bump this up because I wanna add my chicken in here. I'm gonna move the onions aside so that they don't get too brown because I don't like them too brown in this dish. Put this up. I'm putting them on to one side so that I can take the onions, put them on top of the chicken, and then slide them over a little bit just to get them out of the bottom of the pan. Okay. I'm also going to add just a touch more oil because over here is a little dry and this won't get nice and, and brown if it's not uh, in oil. And there we go. Chicken tarragon's on its way. Let's check the chicken tomaso over here. Oh yeah, see how it's starting to, it's not really thickening up, but it's, it's getting a nice little sauce to it. It's not a heavy, heavy, you don't want a heavy sauce with this. Okay, and that's just about ready. I and mean, that chicken is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna bump this up. I'm switching covers. I do tend to cover these sautés to kind of like rush them a little bit, you know, because you want them to, you know, cook at a, you know, at a fast pace. You don't want them steamed or, this has got to have a few more minutes. What I'm going to do right now, which I forgot to do, can you believe it, is season. You need to season these. Okay. Tarragon, I'm going to throw on at the last minute though. I'm not, I'm going to put it just before we finish up the sauce. I'm going to do some pepper. And let's see if I can get the salt in the pan this time. Hey, look, Kyle, I did it. <laughs> I'm going to do some nice garlic. Okay. I'm not going to add any parsley because I want to have the tarragon in here. It's okay if it's, it's, it's white because the sauce will get nice and brown. I'm going to cover these up a minute, kind of like the half cover. Yeah, see, now we're going to start to brown. Yeah. So we're going to turn these over here like this. Now at this point, I'm going to add the white wine, okay? I could flame it if I wanted to, but we're not going to flame it. <laughs> Brandies and stuff you normally flame. All right, that'll take the burner down a little bit. Now, once the wine simmers out, the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to let it simmer a little bit because I don't want the alcohol in there. You just want the flavor of the wine. We're going to take some of our chicken broth. And we're just going to add a little bit in there, not a lot, maybe about a half a cup or so, you know, to thin that out. And then at this point, we're going to sprinkle in a nice fresh tarragon. And we're going to cover her up. We're going to put her on a little bit lower simmer. Okay. And we're going to give this about maybe five, six minutes, and we'll be right back to plate up our food. These are the artichokes and potatoes that I warmed in the oven. I'm gonna put these out first, nice and hot. These are delicious, I did a show on these, they're awesome. One of my most favorite side dishes. Everybody says to me, Tina, what's your favorite dish? I like everything, I don't have a favorite dish. Okay, now we have 
the chicken tarragon right here. I'm just gonna put this right in a plate because it's the easiest way to serve it. Get your nice fresh tarragon. Now you can smell the tarragon. It's got a wonderful, wonderful aroma to it. And see how nice and light the sauce is? You don't want a heavy duty sauce on this. It'll take all the flavor away from the tarragon. Nice little light white wine. That's the, I dirtied that fork, Carl. It's gotta stay right there, sorry. And then we have the chicken tomaso, which is the sausage and chicken. And that's got a nice little light sauce to it also. Okay, excellent. So now, I'm gonna taste some of this stuff because I'm gonna taste, a, can't come this far, sorry. Naturally, I'm gonna taste a little bit of chicken and a little bit of sausage, kinda of hot. I don't want that chill out there right now, because that's really, I'm gonna fry. And I'm gonna cut off a little tiny piece of the chicken tarragon. That fork's in my way. Okay, so you ready? This is gonna be good. Mm. Oh yeah, very good. And now a piece of sausage. Mm. It's really good. Chicken and sausage is great. If you try the chicken, try it with some um, masala wine too. If you like wine, use a masala on that, it's excellent. We have two great chicken dishes here tonight, so give them a try. Thank you for watching Tina Cooks. Have a good night. Salud. My God, these onions nearly killed me. Oh. And they were in the refrigerator. They're not supposed to make you cry if they're in the refrigerator. Boy, what a lie that is. I am blow my nose. Give me two seconds, Cal. You gonna get me blowing my nose? Can't I have some peace and quiet over here?